This will be for the con assignment, estimating slope of line of best fit. <clears throat> so for all of these, um, they have a write-up. You probably don't need to read it in most cases. We'll just read the first one. Baruti, a ranger in Kruger National Park in South Africa, collected data about the elephant population in the park. She compared the foot lengths of the elephants and their shoulder height, both in centimeters, and created the following scatter plot. Okay, so we can see foot length here and shoulder height here. Which of the following is the best estimate of the average change in shoulder height associated with a one centimeter, one centimeter increase in foot length? Okay, the bottom line for all of these is that we're going to have to find and interpret the slope. All right. So if you remember the formula for slope, it's going to be change in y over change in x. All right. But in this case, y, the y axis here, is the shoulder height. So it's going to be it's going to be the change in shoulder height divided by the change in x which will be foot length. Okay. So for this problem here they're asking for the average change in shoulder height associated with a one centimeter increase in foot length. All right, so it's basically change in shoulder height over change in foot length, which is the slope. So for all of these, it's going to be the same. You have to find the slope. All right. Now, basically, because these points are kind of scattered, you have to fit a line to the points. All right. Now, I realize you may not have a drawing tablet. You may not be able to draw on the graph. Your best bet is to choose two points that are far away from each other. Okay. Not necessarily points that are already plotted. I'm just saying you can draw an imaginary line. And what you want to do is connect um, either the either the top right or the bottom left corners of the boxes, okay? Because if you have a point that's in the middle of one of these boxes, it's going to be hard to get the coordinates of it. So just looking at this, I'm going to start right here. And if I drew an imaginary line through this, it would end approximately, I would say, right here. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to go from this point to this point and find the slope. All right. So change in y. Well, let's see. The y coordinate for this point, we might as well get the x and y coordinates. All right. The x coordinate for this point, if we go down to the x-axis, it's right here. It's between 10 and 20, so that's 15. And the y-coordinate, go to the y-axis, it's 80. So that's 15, 80. And then this point here, the x-coordinate, it's the one just after 50, so this is 55. And the y coordinate, if we trace it here, it's 320. Okay, so now it's pretty easy. You just subtract the y's and subtract the x's. Okay, it doesn't matter which one is point number two and point number one, as long as you subtract going in the same direction. So I'm going to subtract this, this minus this. 
okay? So for the Y's, I'm going to do 320 minus 80. And for the X's, I'm going to do 55 minus 15. Okay. So 320 minus 80, that's going to give us 240. 55 minus 15 is going to give us 40. And that is just 6. Okay. Now, if you want to make the slope in the form of a fraction, you can just put it over 1. So we can say 6 over 1. Okay. So the shoulder height goes up by 6 every time the foot length goes up by 1. All right. Let's see, can I write that here? Um, I'll just write it down here. Shoulder height goes up by 6, and the foot length goes up by 1. Okay. So just find the multiple choice answer that's closest, and it's 6. Okay. Average change in shoulder height associated with a 1 centimeter increase in foot length. Okay, and it's just six. Now, we estimated the points. I may have gotten a little bit lucky. But let's say we got like uh, 5.7 or 6.4. We would just choose the answer that's closest. And it's still answer C, six centimeters. Okay, the scatter, bop, scatter plot below shows the relationship between the percentage of American adults who smoke and years since 1945 during this time, the percentage of adults who smoked changed each year by about how many points? All right. So for all of these, we're doing slope. Okay. This is our y-axis, and this is our x-axis. Okay. So we're going to subtract the y's, and we're going to subtract the x's. All right. So again, grab two points. All right. I'm going to start at about this point right here. And if I were to draw an imaginary line, just pick two points that are far away from each other. I'm going to go to this point right here. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. So for this point right here, the x-coordinate of this point is 35. And the y-coordinate for this point is 20. Alright, and for this one here, the x-coordinate, of course, is just 0 because it's on the y-axis. So the x-coordinate is 0, and the y-coordinate is 40. Okay, so it doesn't matter 2 or 1, it doesn't matter which is which, but subtract going in the same direction. Okay, so for the change in y, subtract the y's. I'm going to do 40 minus 20. And for the X's, I'm going to do 0 minus 35. So that's going to be a 20 over negative 35. Okay, their answers are in the form of fractions, so we have to reduce this. All right. A negative in the numerator, it's the same. A negative in the denominator is the same as a negative in the numerator. It's the same thing. Or you can just put it out front. Okay, that's the same thing. But these are both divisible by 5. Okay, so 20 divided by 5 is 4. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Alright. So I get negative 4 sevenths. So 
If you want to put this over the number one, you can. All right, and the change in Y is the percentage of adults who smoke. The change in X is the year. So it goes down by negative four sevenths every time the year goes up by one. So what's the closest? They said the percentage of adults who smoke changed each year by about which one's closest to negative four sevenths? If you were to do decimals for negative one half, this is negative 0 0.5, and this is negative 0 0.25, right? It's just one fourth. I think this one is closest. Let's see. If I did negative four sevenths on the calculator. I get 0.57, approximately 0.57. So answer C is the closest. All right, one more. The plot shown below describes the relationship between the age of drivers and the number of car accidents per 100 drivers. Which of the following is the best estimate of the average change in the number of accidents associated with a one-year increase in age okay so let's see slope it's always going to be slope subtract the y's and subtract the x's okay so if I were to draw a line through this, I would start about right here. And I would finish about, let's say, right here. Okay. Doesn't have to be exact. So let's get the coordinates. Okay, the X coordinate for this dot at 16. And the Y coordinate is 22. Now for this dot here, I'll tell you what, since this dot is going to be 23 and a half, I'm just going to use this one right here, okay? Because I don't want to have an answer of 0.5. So forget that dot. Let's use this one right here, okay? It only has to be an estimate, so pick ones that are easy. So the X coordinate is 24, and the Y coordinate is 11 okay always subtract in the same order so for the y's I'm gonna do 22 minus 11 and for the X's I'm gonna do 16 minus 24 okay 22 minus 11 is 11 16 minus 24 is a negative 8. Okay, so that's negative 11 over 8. And let's just do the decimal. On the calculator, I get 1.375. Negative 1.375. That means the number of accidents per 100 drivers, it goes down by this much every time the year increases by one, right? Because you can put this number over one. So let's see which one matches, negative 1.375. Okay, if we convert this, it would be negative 1.5. And if we convert this, it would be negative 3.5. And of course, one half would be negative 0 0.5. So which one is the closest to this? I'm going to say this answer right here is closest. All right. 
So just estimate the slope, and that's basically it. Okay. And if you don't want to, if you don't want to do the points, if you don't want to get the coordinates, you don't really have to. You can just start here and end here and see what the change see what the change in y is that's delta y for change in y and then see what the change in x is delta x for change of x all right so get this distance right here and get this distance right here and you can get your slope 